It started with yellow paint and a proclamation. Welcome all peaceful protesters to Washington, D.C. Already a hot spot for demonstrations, the newly christened Black Lives Matter Plaza became perhaps the place in D.C. to be seen and heard. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! A nexus in the nationwide push for racial equity. The message that everybody is trying to get across is basically, you know, uh, we're tired of the injustice. The site of some tense exchanges with counter protesters and police. And occasionally a celebration. Like on the day now President Joe Biden was projected to win the 2020 election. As long as everybody is holding hands, not arguing with each other, that's a good thing. It's been the site of so many of the pivotal moments of the last 12 months, and today, officially, Black Lives Matter Plaza turns one year old. William Cole, a fitness trainer also known as Jim Jones, marked the occasion today by leading a free workout at BLM Plaza. But last year, he says he was at the plaza for a different reason, protesting racial injustice. I easily could have been Ahmaud Arbery. I like to run, right? I easily could have been George Floyd. We, you know, we, we, so that, that was the main thing, just seeing, just turn on the TV and just like, wow, that could be me. He thinks the protest's message resonated. I think it was heard, but the work isn't done. So I think it was a start, we got the ball rolling, but I think now it's time to implement some policies and really make some true change and put some writing behind all of that protesting. Change, he says, like the passage of the federal George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. At Black Lives Matter Plaza, Zach Merchant, WUSA 9.